Three, two, one. I was just checking out the preferences for time stretch. And I was looking at this and it's a bit confusing because Cubase 6.5 is meant to use Elastique. I'm used to it from Cubase 6. So why isn't it listed in the editing audio? Well, uh, some research, which I'll show you, uh, landed on this Steinberg forum page and the highlighted text is from a developer of Cubase. Uh, He's a Steinberg developer, he, see, he says it there. And he's basically saying that Elastic is used for all new, newly imported audio. And uh, if you set real time in the preferences, that is basically Elastic all the time. Um, so I just thought I'd best show you it. I was playing with it uh, in a previous video. So go up to your menu and you can click on there and see it's a sizing applies time stretch or you can click on one on the keyboard one one a cycle through and this allows you to move audio around okay just like that now you can do it by changing the tempo so if you go to the tempo let's do it fixed let's do it to say one 15 for example let's stretch it out to 115 BPM oops stretch from the bottom reset on we go really quite pleasing let's speed it up 130 just time stretch it a little bit Reset, off we go. Now it's just the same if you use a tempo track. I've got a tempo track just set up here. So there's no difference, 130. There you go, that's uh, back to there. So let's take it right down to say 90. And let's really just stretch it out. So let's see if there's any artifacts. Very pleasing, quite impressed. One twenty. <clears throat> Excuse me. There we go. Now in Cubase there are lots of other ways of uh, doing time stretching that. I just wanted to quickly show you these because that's what I was playing with earlier. So let's just reset. Hey, my DJ. 